Hello student, today we are going to learn what is fit and types of fit in mechanical engineering. First, what do you mean by fit? This is the shaft, this is the hole, shaft and hole will be assembled. The degree of tightness or looseness between two mating parts is called fit. The dimensional relation between mating parts is known as fit. The relation between two mating parts, shaft and hole is known as fit. Fit is the nature of assembly of two mating parts. Fit indicates the tightness or looseness of the mating parts. Shaft may fit into a hole loosely or tightly depending upon the purpose sharp by them. It is very important for many engineering applications for the satisfactory working of parts in moving such as piston in a cylinder, valve in valve guide, gear on splint, wheel on a shaft, etc. Okay. Now, what is type of fit? Rotating parts require a definite amount of clearance between stationary and moving elements. According to ISI system, fits are of three types. ISI means Indian Standards Institution. Three types of fits are clearance fits, interference fit, transition fit. Okay. Now, what is clearance fit? This is the whole this is the shaft. This is the maximum limit of hole. This is the minimum limit of hole. This is the maximum limit of shaft. This is the minimum limit of shaft. Between hole and shaft, this is the 
maximum clearance between the hole and shaft this is the minimum clearance this is the minimum clearance this is the basic size this is hole limit this is shaft limit this is the hole limit this is the shaft limit in clearance fit hole diameter is always bigger than shaft diameter in clearance fit the allowance between two mating parts is always positive in this case the largest sap size is always less than the smallest hole size in clearance fit the tolerance zone of the hole of the hole of the hole is entirely above the tolerance zone of the shaft okay so ds minus dl is always positive where ds equal to smallest hole size and dl equal to largest sap size okay now what is interference fit this is the hole this is the sap for hole this is maximum limit this is minimum limit for shaft this is the maximum limit this is the minimum limit this is the this is the maximum interference this is the minimum interference this is the basic size for hole and shaft this is the tolerance zone of shaft this is the tolerance zone of hole this is the tolerance zone of shaft this is the tolerance zone of hole in interference fit hole diameter is always lesser than shaft diameter hole diameter always less than shaft diameter in interference fit the allowance between two mating parts is always negative in this case smallest shaft size is always greater than the largest hole size okay in interference fit the tolerance zone of hole is entirely below the tolerance zone of the shaft okay so 
dl minus ds is always negative where dl equal to largest whole size and ds equal to smallest sap size okay now what is transition fit this is the hole this is the shaft this is the upper limit of hole this is the lower limit of hole this is the upper limit of shaft this is the lower limit of shaft this is the basic size this is the tolerance zone of hole this is the tolerance zone of shaft this is the tolerance zone of shaft this is the tolerance zone of the shaft in transition fit the size limit for the mating parts are such selected that either a clearance or interference it may occurs depending upon the actual size of the mating parts here the tolerance zone of hole and shaft overlapped okay here hole diameter is close to shaft diameter any pair of parts mating with a transition fit may fit with interference while another pair with the same tolerance may fit with clearance maximum clearance is positive maximum clearance is positive this is the maximum clearance this is the maximum clearance minimum clearance minimum clearance this is this is the minimum clearance minimum clearance is negative okay it is clear my student thank you